solve the quartic equation, where, x is a complex number. It's not always easy to solve a quartic equation. By the rational root theorem, we know that, if the equation has rational roots, then they could be, plus or minus one, plus or minus a half, or plus or minus a quarter. However, it's easy to check that, none of these is a solution of the equation. Then, how to solve the equation? One method is to transform the quartic polynomial into a product of two quadratic polynomials, then to solve quadratic equations. We will use the substitution method to solve this quartic equation. As x does not equal zero, so we divide the equation by x squared. Then the equation becomes, 4x squared, plus 8x, minus 8, plus 4 over x, plus 1 over x squared, equals 0. Rearrange the equation, we have, 4x squared, plus 1 over x squared, plus 4 times 2x plus 1 over x, minus 8, equals 0. And we label this as equation 1. Now, we let y equal 2x plus 1 over x. Then, y squared equals 4x squared, plus 1 over x squared, plus 4. So, 4x squared, plus 1 over x squared, equals y squared minus 4. Now substitute 2x plus 1 over x, and 4x squared plus 1 over x squared, into equation 1, we have, y squared, plus 4y minus 12, equals 0. Factor the left hand side of the equation, we have, y minus 2, times y plus 6, equals 0. So, either y equals 2, or y equals negative 6. Note that, y equal 2x plus 1 over x. The problem is divided into two cases. Case 1, 2x plus 1 over x, equals 2. Case 2, 2x plus 1 over x, equals negative 6. For case 1, multiply the equation by x, and rearrange the equation, we have, 2x squared, minus 2x, plus 1, equals 0. This is a quadratic equation. To solve for x, we apply the quadratic formula. x equals negative b, plus or minus root of, b squared, minus 4ac, over 2a. For this equation, the coefficients are, a equals 2, b equals negative 2, and c equals 1. So, we can now write, x equals, 2 plus or minus root of, negative 2 all squared, minus 4 times 2, times 1, over 2 times 2. Negative 2 all squared, minus 4 times 2, times 1, is equal to, negative 4. So, x equals 2 plus or minus root negative 4, over 4. Root negative 4, is equal to, 2 root negative 1, which is 2i. So, x is equal to, 1 plus or minus i, over 2. For case 2, multiply the equation by x, and rearrange the equation, we have, 2x squared, plus 6x, plus 1, equals 0. Again, this is a quadratic equation. The coefficients are, a equals 2, b equals 6, and c equals 1. So, we can now write, x equals negative 6, plus or minus root of, 6 squared, minus 4 times 2, times 1, over 2 times 2. 6 squared, minus 4 times 2, times 1, is equal to, 28. Root 28, is 2 root 7. So, x equals negative 6, plus or minus 2 root 7, over 4. Which is equal to, negative 3, plus or minus root 7, over 2. The equation has four complex roots, two real roots, and two non-real complex conjugates.